Figured I'd go into a little more chemtrail philosophy here while I caught this military bugger here ripping up my sky, uh, infesting my oxygen with uh, aluminum oxide such as barium oxide, uh, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, here, here they all are, folks. This one is stretching across the so sky. Um, you see that, that uh, cloud up there uh, broke them, but here he comes, and it's, it's getting bigger already as I make this video. And we'll, we'll see him actually, if you can follow my finger, we're going to see him pop out through this other side of the cloud probably in a little bit. But uh, yeah, he just they just started uh, doing this a few minutes ago. Um, he came across, all the way across there. Um, but as you can see, this entire mass here on top of me is all fake. These are all fake clouds, uh, engineered if you will, manufactured. These, uh, these weren't made by God. This is this is all spray. This entire mass that's covering my head right now is uh, is spray, is uh, aerosol spray. So let me just show you my uh, 360 view here. This is everything above me. So and and, and I, this is probably happening to you. Anyone who lives in the United States or pretty much anywhere across the world, I'll give you a nice little view of the beautiful sunset too. A uh, nice pleasant thing while I talk about all this nonsense. Um, but. Yeah, this is happening to you too, where you live, so I'm giving you a good warning, and I'm actually, you know, sitting in the danger zone, sitting under all that stuff. So, for my comfortability, I'm going to step outside of that. And isn't it funny how this stuff drives you inside? It's like, oh, I'll go sit inside, sit inside my jail cell instead because of, uh, because of the chemtrails outside. Because the air that I'm trying to breathe is poisoned, so I'll go inside. Um... But everything here, everything here is spray, essentially. Um, yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking at this thing here. But yep, that all looks like spray too. I mean, some of this is real clouds. Like obviously, like this in the horizon, that's a real cloud. You can totally tell what's real. But all that stuff, spray, 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 spray. Um, you know, it, it really is incredible. You know how how deep these uh, chemtrails go. And as you can see, the one I was tracking right there, it, it thins out. So that's how they go. This one, like I was tracking before in the beginning of the video, it was really thin. See how that's fanning out? And then that's just going to continue to fan out. And then it'll get all fanned out like that one or like that one. So that's when people are like, oh, you know, they're not chemtrails or this or that. Well, no, they are. They, they spread out. They expand. And uh, that's kind of how the whole deal works. All right. Um, I'm going to actually try to get that sunset on here for you, too. I think sun gazing is a great thing uh, to do. Don't believe all the propaganda out there. The sun's really, really good for you. I'm actually kind of sun gazing while I let you sun gaze. Um, oh, it's incredible. I mean, it is the most restorative thing to nature that there is, just to, to stare at the sun. Only when it's setting or rising, kind of in like the last uh, 30 minutes. But when you, like for the first time, really truly look at it, it is this the most perfect circle you can ever imagine and it's just so luminescent and radiating and you just realize that all life originates from this source and I believe that the Sun is like 450 million times uh, the dense mass of the earth I mean can you imagine it weighing 450 million uh, times the earth and I, I believe that's the correct number uh, as much as it you know weighs more than the earth and, and it truly is insane but like I said in the beginning, I want to talk to you about chemtrail philosophy. A lot of times I just uh, show the trails and I don't go into the entire thing. So, you know, why are they doing this? One reason, let's just say, to de decalcify your pineal gland. So why would you look at that sun? Well, uh, excuse me, that would be to decalcify your pineal gland. And they're doing this to calcify your pineal gland. So decalcify, calcify. And it's all about, you know, out-of-the-box out thinking. Um, so that's certainly one way, uh, but there's many, many ways, so I'll just go into uh, real fast. It has a lot of, to do with uh, genetically en engineering farming industry and the food industry and all that. They want to g genetically uh, engineer all the crops, so by hitting it with tons of aluminum oxides and uh, aerosol spraying, that all gets soaked into the soil, and then uh, you can't grow crops naturally because uh, you're going to need Monsanto's uh, GE seed uh, to grow in such a, um, like an aerosol dense, like an aluminum dense soil. Uh, barium dense soil um, it's completely uh, changing all the patternings of nature 
so they can make profit off it and so man you know so man can profit off it and grow all uh you know grow all the fake food uh, because, you know, Monsanto wants, they, they do ter Terminator seeds, so you have to buy their seed every single uh, new year. They won't be reharvesting your own seed, and uh, it, there's so many, it, it really is so thick. I mean, it's so dense. Um, so many little wormholes here to it. Uh, I'll, I'll just I'll just drop a few of them, though. Like, uh, other, other advantage of Monsanto doing that is they're trying to take over the entire world's food industry, and, and they're going about it totally in the right fashion if you wanted to do that. Um, so they, they control the seeds, and then if your seed spreads, their seed spreads on the other farms, they have all these lures, and they go in and sue the other farmers, claiming that they're growing uh, Monsanto's patented seed. See, you can't patent anything that's uh, like truly from nature in like food regards, but since they genetically engineer, and you know, it's genetically modified, GMO, people, please look into GMOs. Again, GMOs. Look into it if you haven't heard of it. Probably most people watching this video have. But, um, yeah, so if it's genetically engineered then you can patent it. So that's what they're doing. They're tr trying to really patent all life and take over uh, very various industries. They're trying to take over the marijuana and hemp industries and uh, so many other different things as well. So, Mon so Monsanto's got a lot to do with the chemtrailing. It, it fits perfectly into their scheme of GMOs. And people have to realize too that most of the food you're eating is GMOs. Um, all the processed food that's why you really got to stop eating the processed food what is processed food that's the package stuff that you buy in the store yeah like everything that americans eat and i speak for americans because this is the people that i know yeah it's like pretty much everything we eat and uh yeah most of it's really poison can you believe it that's the first time you heard it but uh yeah it's the truth there is a war on you um through your food henry kissinger said that the way to control nations is to control the oil we certainly see that done and the way to control people is to control the food and a lot of people don't know so much about that one that one's not so obvious yet but it probably will be in the next few years um, America's had uh, genetically modified organisms in their food uh, splicing their DNA since 1995 but uh, there is a great look at that holistic Sun I mean if you ever want to talk about a perfect circle I mean there it is folks but let me just keep going a little bit more with the chemtrail philosophy and why they might be doing this you know people say how are they chemtrails how do you know well how do you know is very simple you just get uh, you get a knowing of detection once you've seen it millions of times literally every single day you start to really know once you know what a natural cloud is and what all this other fake spray stuff is you, you really you really start to understand so why are they doing this well like I said for a lot of those reasons uh, definitely to um, you know, keep keep your keep your uh, pineal gland calcified and keep you inside the box and all the food reasons. Other reasons is to keep your energy low, keep your vibration low, um, keep your spiritual and your mental and your physical energy low. They want it downtrodden. They want you. They want you tired, man. They they want they don't want you coming home from work and, and doing something um, intellectually that might make you uh, escape out of the box and be another awake person that they would have to worry about. So the chemtrails really just fit perfect into every single thing that they're doing. It really just comes down to, uh, you know, whoever the powers that be, whoever's doing this. I, I certainly know it's military planes, but whoever the uh, people are on top of them making these calls, they're doing it because they want to play God if we really just want to put it into, like, broad-scale terms because it's not that simple of a problem. I mean, it's very complex, and, and there's only so much that I can try to figure out. But they're trying to play God. They want to engineer the weather, okay? They want to... It's a lot about chemical warfare. Um, I've heard theories like they did it a lot here, here in America before the radiation spill in uh, Japan, and then it could spread easier, easily uh, because, you know, it changes all different types of dynamics and all this stuff. So there, there's tons of theories out there. You don't know which ones are conspiracies and which ones are truth, but... Clearly, there's 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 powers that be here that are like trying to play God of some some sort. They're they're definitely changing um, the soil, the air, everything that we call natural to fit their uh, commercial and corporate standards uh, for profit maximization. They look at us. They don't look like human beings that are love people. They look at us like dogs, sheep, cattle. Just another way to make profit. There's certainly no love there. So, 
I, I, I mean, I think I really touched on the main reasons why they're doing this. Um, it, it, it could have a lot to do with future chemical warfare as well. Uh, I'm not really going to get into all that stuff. I don't really care to talk about all that. So, I mean, not that I won't, but so. All right, everybody. You know, I really appreciate everyone for watching, and I try to help educate the community on these chemtrails here. You see how they just linger around. There really was nowhere I could go um, else on my property to get away from them. They're, uh, they're covered. I mean, it's covered right over me, so. What can you do? It's, it's certainly the world we're living in, and most importantly, it's the consciousness that humanity is collectively at right now. And we just need to continue to raise our consciousness, and hopefully all that stuff can, uh, the future, the Illuminati, and the New World Order, and all that stuff can set just like that sun just did. And uh, we can raise to a much higher vibration and uh, choose a much a much nicer world for ourselves because this is this is what it is this is what we're collectively experiencing this is the uh, collective consciousness of humanity right now this is the reality that we're all co-creating and it's a sad one and uh, maybe some people have more power than others in that but this this is the one this is this is what this is what we're experiencing so I just think we have to come together and 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 against the system, against all that's corrupt and evil, and we just need to support a society and promote a society that'll serve our best goods and our best interest uh, and, and everything. I mean, it's all, it's all very simple, and you can check out my other videos for other ideas. Uh, but where I talk about, you know, this New World Order and all that stuff, and it's not really about the New World Order, it's about entering the now and uh, doing the inner work instead of worrying about, like, the exterior problems. And then you can really start to change your exterior world when you start vibrating at a much higher energy, le energy level and a much higher consciousness. Uh, quite simply, people are going to listen to you more because you're coming from a much more loving state. So check out my video. Um, it's uh, not NWO. You know, it's all about the N-O-W. All right? So thanks again, everybody, so much for tuning in. And I really uh, look forward to building a sustainable uh, online relationships with you. And all of us who are kind of together and understanding this stuff, we can really start coming together and, and, and building community in it all. And, and we, we truly will be the resistance. And I hope it's peaceful. Uh, I want it to be peaceful. That's everything that I promote. Uh, peaceful, informational uh, revolution. Uh, just global comp global non-compliance against the system and uh, that's what it's truly about and always coming from a state of love and uh, yeah, doing that true spiritual work alright everybody so uh, thanks again so much I look forward to talking to you all goodbye